Welcome to the Real Estate Espresso Podcast, your morning shot of what's new in the world of real estate investing. I'm your host, Victor Manash. This is the weekend edition, and it's also the first of the month. Happy Labor Day weekend. On the first day of each month, we review the book of the month. So rather than the usual interviews we have on the weekend editions, we're having the book of the month book review. In order to be considered for book of the month, a book has to meet a very simple criteria. It has to be impactful enough that it will change your life or your perspective on the world. Whether it does or not is entirely up to you. You might read the book, comment on how great it is, but if you don't internalize the book and make it part of you, you're missing the point. This month's book definitely meets the criteria. The book this month is Never Eat Alone by Keith Ferrazzi. This book is all about relationship building and the business and life success that comes from building successful relationships. When I wrote the book Magnetic Capital, I realized there were five principles that were essential to raising money. Briefly, the five are number one, relationship, number two, trust, number three, results, what's your track record, number four, you've got to have a compelling opportunity, and number five, you've got to have alignment between the goals for the money and the goals for your project. I chose this month's book because raising money and real estate investing is a relationship business. It's the number one of the five principles. And if you don't master this one, you're going to struggle as an investor, as a developer, and as a syndicator. Never Eat Alone is not a new book. It was first published back in 2005, and I think I read it the first time in around 2010. But it's one of those books that continues, even 15 years later, to be selling really well and to have impact. I know this because I recommend it to all my consulting clients, and they tell me how much of an impact the book has had on their approach to relationship building. The author comes from humble beginnings. His father was a steel worker and an immigrant. All his father knew was hard work and low wages, but his father also knew there was another system at play that he wasn't part of. One day he asked to speak to the CEO of the steel company, a pretty audacious move, but the CEO was so intrigued with the approach He granted the request, and Keith's father eventually had the meeting. The result of that meeting was an opening that forever changed the course of the author's life. Keith went to the most prestigious private elementary school on a full scholarship, and then ultimately to Yale University and eventually to Harvard Business School. The success that becomes available from a school like Harvard has very little to do with the quality of the information you get in the classroom. The real differentiator is the relationships that come from being in that environment. The author has developed global relationships that include the corridors of power in Washington, Hollywood's A-list, and eventually led him to being elected as a global leader for tomorrow at the World Economic Forum in Davos. Keith Ferrazzi distinguishes genuine relationship building from the crude, desperate, business card dealing networking that we so often encounter at conferences. The core of the book is a shift in mindset. Some people are always looking for something for themselves. And true relationship building means never keeping score. It's never simply about getting what you want. It's about making sure the people who are important to you get what they want too. It's about maintaining presence in people's minds. It's about connecting with people in your circle of contacts all the time, not just when you need something from them. Now, in today's world of social media connectedness, this is both easier than ever and in some ways more difficult than ever. It's easier because the effort to reach out has never been easier but the environment has become so much noisier than ever before, your interactions have to add more value to stand apart from the rest of the pack. He makes a clear distinction on those who are true relationship builders. You know who those people are just by looking at their LinkedIn profile. Some people have a couple of hundred connections in LinkedIn. Others have thousands. As we speak, I have over 7,000 connections in LinkedIn. Now understand, I'm not out there trying to maximize numbers on a daily basis. Far from it. I receive an average of five requests a day to connect. I'm selective on who I bring into my network. Even with that, I now have over 7,000 connections. Keith Ferrazzi calls these people connectors. Connectors are people who are interested in building a large number of relationships. Those with 200 connections, they're not. If you want to multiply your opportunities in life, then you want to connect with those people who are connectors. The author addresses the difference between a cold call and a warm interaction. People are bombarded with so much content these days that most of it gets ignored. Interruption marketing might have worked 20 years ago, but not anymore. People are tired of being interrupted. If you're going to get someone's attention, then you've got to be interesting. 
And that sounds obvious, but people rarely examine what comes out of their mouth and ask the simple question, is this interesting? That means it needs to sound fresh and different. And if you've struggled to build a quality of relationships with the kind of people who could make a meaningful difference in your life and in your business, the book Never Eat Alone by Keith Ferrazzi is for you. As you think about that, have an awesome, awesome rest of your weekend. Go make some great things happen. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.